Now you might wonder, okay, so what are all these other pins? Well, these are other pins that are from people that you are following. So if you remember at the beginning, we actually picked some really broad categories and Pinterest decided, well, you know, you can follow these individuals that have similar interests. And that way you can kind of give you a little push into the Pinterest world. And so now we're following some people and now you can see their pins. And now you have your very own first pin. And soon you may have some pin followers and they'll get to see your pins from your pin boards. Now the other cool thing is what you can do is you can come in here and you can actually browse. So if I wanted to go into cars and motorcycles and kind of just cruise through here and look at the various pictures that people are pinning and look at the various comments that people are leaving, um, you're going to notice that you can do a couple of things in here. When you come onto a pin that you like, you have the option to repin, to like it or comment. If you like it, it's kind of like a Facebook like and that particular pin gets a like. What you can also do is you can actually repin that pin on your pin board because you just happen to like it so much. So I really like this picture of this DeLorean. It reminds me of Back to the Future. So I'm going to, call, I'm going to go ahead and change my description here. And I'm going to pin this on my favorite cars pin board. And I just repinned that DeLorean on my favorite cars pin board. So now if I were to go look at my pins again, you're going to notice I've got pizza and I've got my DeLorean. If I click into that picture of the DeLorean, you're going to notice you're going to have a couple things at the very bottom here. You're going to have favorite cars, which shows my pin board of my favorite cars. And it would show all the pins here uh, that belong to that. Or you'll notice a link down here. So this is pinned via pin market. So what this is, this is kind of interesting. This is giving credit to a particular person. So if I were to go into this pin that I repinned and click at it, you're going to notice there's a link here and it goes to a particular website. So if I were to click on top of that pin, it's actually going to take me to that website, which is pretty interesting. It's actually creating kind of a, a backlink, so to speak. And you'll notice we came to the website where that original picture came from. So we're going to go ahead and close that out and we're going to come back to Pinterest. Now, one cool thing as well, when you come in here, into a pin is you're going to notice you've got some uh, social media characters here on the right hand side. You have a like, a tweet, an embed, which you can embed via HTML onto a website, or you can email it. Now the report pin is to flag a pin because it's improper. Now the Pinterest does have rules and regulations, and if you actually scroll up to the top and mouse over the about button, you're going to notice the terms of service privacy policy copyright and trademark documents. I suggest that you read through these carefully just to make sure that you totally understand uh, all, all the legalities of Pinterest. So now if we go back to my Pinterest wall, we're going to go through and we're going to actually comment on somebody's pin. And so I'm just looking for something here that looks pretty cool that I want to make a comment on. Oh, look, at there's uh, Mr. Rogers. I think I'm going to go ahead and comment on that. All right, so I created a comment and that was pretty simple. You just type in a comment and click comment. So now there's a couple other things that are pretty cool about Pinterest. Um, Pinterest allows you to actually pin videos. So you can come in here and just kind of get an idea of what kind of videos are, are posted here. The other thing that's cool is it's got a popular category which shows some very popular pins maybe that have a lot of action going on, comments, likes, repins, and things of that nature. Um, but another very cool one is the gifts category. And in the gifts category, you're going to notice that some of these have price tags on them. And you may be wondering, well, how do you get that on your pin? Well, I'm going to show you how. If we go ahead and click add and we're going to upload a pin, I'm going to choose a file and I'm going to choose this nice looking breakfast plate and I'm going to tag it under favorite foods. Okay, if you notice, if I just place a basic description in here, nothing changes. However, if I add a monetary price at the very beginning, you're going to notice something. The price tag is added whenever you add a price with a dollar sign right at the beginning of your description. 
So once I add the price, I can go ahead and say pin it. And my pin is actually pinned with the price already embedded in it. Now what's cool about that is that's gonna show up right in the gifts category. So when you go to gifts, you notice all these individual pins here with people posting stuff with price tags. Eventually, my pin would show up somewhere on this board and somebody would have the opportunity, obviously, to to like my pin or follow me. But that's just a really uh, cool thing, I think, because you can add a price tag to it. And what's really cool about it is you can actually modify that pin to actually link to a website. So what I could do here is say denny's.com, save pin. And now when people click this pin, it actually takes them to Denny's, Denny's restaurant. Now, just a couple more things just to quickly finish up. If you click the add button, we can manually create a board, which creates you a blank pin board, or you could actually have another option here to add a pin. Now this particular one is actually pointed to a website. So say I wanted to do iinfuse.com, you'll notice that you're gonna get some options here for images. So I can go through these, scroll through these, and pick my favorite image that I want to display. So now I wanna put this into a category, but I don't have a category that I could put this into because it just doesn't fit with foods, books, cars, shoes home or my style. So what I want to do is actually create a new pin board on the fly. And so what I'm going to do here is type in and say create. I'm actually going to tweet this one as well. And I'm going to pin that. I'm going to go in and edit it to make sure that everything looks good. And I'm going to save my pin. So that's adding a pin from directly from a website. So it basically goes to the website, parses that website for any images, allows you to populate that into your pin, and you can post that right up into Pinterest. So now if we go to our wall, you're going to notice we've got four new pins that I've just created. Okay, and one last thing here. If you decide that you want to invite some friends into Pinterest, all you have to do is click over here on the upper right hand corner under your account name and you can say invite friends and you have the option to invite friends via email, Facebook, or directly from your Gmail contacts list. And so you can basically type in a person's email address and hit send invites and invite all your friends in the Pinterest. And last but not least, you can come into your main account area, look at all your pin boards. You can actually look at your individual pins you can look at things that you actually liked. The other thing you can do is look at who's following you and look at who you are following. And if you wanted to unfollow somebody, you could come in here and just click unfollow. And it's as simple as that. That's a pretty basic overview of Pinterest. So I hope I covered everything. I hope it was understandable. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching this edition of Fuse Flicks. See you next time.